More than 4 million people can't vote in the United States because of felony convictions. This is known as felony disenfranchisement, and the way it's used in the U.S. is way out of step with the rest of the world. After studying the laws of 136 countries, Human Rights Watch, the ACLU, and the Sentencing Project found that a majority never or rarely take away a person's right to vote because of a conviction. In the 63 countries we looked at, where the right to vote is sometimes denied, the U.S. is still on the more restrictive end, impacting a bigger group of people. Only five other countries permanently take away the right to vote for some or all people with felony convictions, like 11 U.S. states do. So how did the U.S. end up here? Well, many of today's laws around felony disenfranchisement date back to the end of the Civil War, when slavery was abolished and Black men got the right to vote. But many states quickly passed laws expanding what was considered a felony in ways that targeted Black people. At the same time, states enacted laws that took voting rights away from anyone convicted with a felony. To this day, extremely high rates of incarceration in the U.S. and in turn felony disenfranchisement laws disproportionately impact people of color. One in 19 Black people of voting age are disenfranchised in the U.S. But there's hope. In the past couple of decades, 27 states have expanded voting rights for people with felony convictions and restored the right to vote for almost 2 million people. All states should follow suit and end felony disenfranchisement once and for all. People should be able to exercise their human right to vote regardless of their conviction history.